Club Nerds. My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome to the Nerdy Narrative. I post Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays on bookish related things in the science fiction, fantasy, and horror genres. If you happen to miss Friday's video, I reviewed Sleepwalking, which is book three in the Nightmare Land Chronicles by Daniel Barnett. As always, I'll have that linked in the cards above if you haven't watched that and want to check it out. There will also be a link in the description below to the Nerdy Narrative Discord. I'd love to have you join us over there. Now, let's get into what I read last week. Last week, I participated in the Scallywagathon. It's a really fun pirate based readathon. I am still currently in the midst of it. I'm a little bit behind my schedule of where I wanted to be. That's okay. I got faith in myself that I can pull this off. But then again, I could end up going down on my sinking ship. We'll see what happens. In order to put in a real effort to complete the Scallywagathon, I put down all the other books I was reading. I did still get a little smidge of reading in on my current buddy reads and my main read. So the first buddy read I'm still working on is the one I'm doing with Michael Nipp's patrons and that is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I'm still around the halfway mark on this one. This might be the first one I focus down in my plan of attack after I finish the Scallywagathon. We'll see. It's a really good book. Once you start reading it, you get really interested in it. It's a very dark kind of story. Uh, I spend a lot of time being sad for our main character, Fitz. At this point in the story, he's finding himself in situations he'd really rather not be in, but it's very entertaining how he navigates through those situations in order to basically not kill anyone. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm looking forward to finishing it. I lied. I thought I'd worked on Words of Radiance some, but I really haven't. I have fallen very, very far behind on my daily reading plan for this one. So I'm gonna really have to burn some midnight oil catching up to the rest of the group in time for Thursday's live show. We'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm a little nervous about that. And then my main read that I was working on is The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I really wanted to binge this one out before the Scallywagathon started. Stuff and things happen. I didn't get to. It, I have literally been thinking about this book every day. I cannot wait to finish it. I'm halfway through this one. All of the really good stuff is starting to happen. It is an insanely good read. I'm enjoying it much better than I actually expected I was going to. I am just in awe of how much I love this book. In fact, I've already pre-ordered the second book. I'm, I have faith that the further I get along in this book, the more I'm going to love it. So I cannot wait to get back into this story and see what happens next. The one buddy read that gets interrupted for no readathon is my One Piece manga morning read with Una from the Codex Cantina. Manga and coffee is how I'll start my day. I don't plan on putting that aside for any other book or readathon. I enjoy it way too much. I have finally gotten to Alabasta with the Straw Hat crew and everything is just happening all at once. I read volume 20 this morning. My heart was just racing the entire time I read the volume. There was so much going on. The story is so good. I can't believe how good this manga is. I'm thrilled to keep reading it. It is definitely my favorite manga. I'm so happy that there are authors like Akira Oda who can continue building on storylines with such great themes and keep my interest. The story building is fantastic. Fantastic. The side stories are fantastic. The characters are just absolutely lovable, entertaining. I kind of got a little angry at him in volume 20 because he beat up on one of my beloved characters just a little too much in my opinion. <laughs> Justice for Karu, he just got stomped today. <laughs> as far as Scallywagathon, I'm about halfway through the books that I wanted to complete for that. I actually finished one book I used the One Piece manga for one of the books. The second book that I chose for that readathon is A Hero's Downfall by Tony Johnson. I cannot believe how fast of a read this book turned out to be. I knew from reading the description that I was going to enjoy it. I didn't realize how sucked in by the story I was going to get. It's been a delightful read. I almost read 50% of the book the first time I cracked it open. I really wanted to finish it last night, but I kept falling asleep. I only have 100 pages left. I will definitely get that knocked out today. 
I can't wait to get to the ending. I'm also thrilled that I already have the second book of the trilogy on hand because I, I'm not ready for this story to be over. It, it's so good. So much has happened. There's been so much action, but I'm so close to the end. I know that it's not going to be enough. So it's always helpful to have the second book on hand of a series that you're that excited about because that way you can just go right into the second one and keep sailing. The next book I read was not on the TBR. It was not for the Scallywagathon. It was an unexpected arc release of book three of the Nightmare Land Chronicles by Daniel Barnett that is sleepwalking. I'll definitely be getting my hands on a physical copy for my collection. The artwork is done by Daniel Sarah, who is absolutely just at the top of my list of favorite cover artists. Sleepwalking was a freaking five star read. It was phenomenal but I have a dedicated review for sleepwalking it's in the cards for you if you want to check that one out that is everything that I read or am reading so what am I gonna read next so next up on the list for the scallywagathon is post-apocalyptic paradise by Alice Sirius Black that will be my next victim on my scallywagathon for the black sales prompt and then the final book that I want to knock out for the Scallywagathon and for the month of August is The Last Town by Blake Crouch. You know, it's such a struggle because I have so many fantastic books that I've started and I want to read them all. And I had a fantastic week of reading and I'm super stoked to finish the ones I've started and get those last two knocked out. And that's all I got for you guys. Now I want to hear from you guys. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you've been reading, what you plan to read next week. Come by and say hey to me in Discord. Discord. I hope you've had a great morning so far. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you next time.